You've asked me to kill you. I'm not an executioner, Lormer. I've been hired to take you back alive. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of a man called Paladin. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, well. Mm, who is it? It's all uh, me, Mr. Paladin. Hey, boy. Oh. Uh. Ah. Oh, come in. Oh, very sorry to wake you so early, Mr. Paladin, but a uh, telegram come for you. Yeah. Well, they always come early after a late night. Let's see then. Whoa, that was a very late night you had last night. Yes, it was. Yes, uh, no good to stay up until daybreak. Uh, sometimes it can be very interesting. Oh, but uh, you need to sleep. Well, it looks like I won't get any more sleep today. This telegram says the sheriff of Little Spring wants me there tonight. Sheriff? Well, you do something wrong in Little Spring? No, hardly. I've never even been there. He wants to hire me for $3,000. Oh, he, oh, 3000 Hey, you can make it? Hey, boy, at those prices, I'd saddle an eagle to get there. If you're suffering from a cold, medical authorities advise, whenever possible, go to bed when you first feel a cold coming on. Keep comfortably warm and protected from direct drafts and changing temperatures. Drink plenty of liquids, water, soups, milk, and fruit juices. And here's another important health tip. When you have a cold and need a laxative, that's the time to rely on gentle X-lax. Pleasant-tasting, chocolated X-lax helps you toward your normal regularity, gently overnight. X-Lax works where nature wants, in the lower tract, not the stomach. Taken at bedtime, X-Lax gives you the closest thing to natural action the next morning, without upset, without discomfort. And X-Lax is so effective, it continues to help. Seldom, if ever, do you need to take it again the next day. So when you have a cold, and suffer constipation too, take X-Lax, a medicine you can use with complete confidence. X-Lax helps you toward your normal regularity, gently, overnight. X lax. As I got off the stage, the first thing I noticed about Little Spring was the saloon. More of a gambling casino than a saloon. It was the size of a city block, and it blared and blazed in the twilight. The town had the other things a California town is supposed to have: a general store, a livery stable, a sheriff's office, and a small church. Pushed off in the background, I'm sure no one heard the church chimes sound the hour against the din from the casino. The sheriff's office was empty, so I pushed my way into the saloon. Say, is the sheriff here? What do you have? No. Is the sheriff here? Over there. Fat fellow, white mustache. At the table with those three men. Thank you. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Thank you. Sheriff Akers? Yeah. My name is Paladin. Paladin? Well, glad you could make it. Uh, let's go in the back room where we can hear ourselves talk. Yeah. All right. All right, in here. Thank you. Uh, according to what I hear, you're the best man I could have hired. What do you want me to do, Sheriff? I want you to find a Fred Lormer for me. He killed a man. Well, you're a lawman. Why don't you go after him? Oh, by this time, he's over the state line. If I wait for extradition, it'll take too long. I want him back here in Little Spring in four days. Four? Well, that's not much time. I want him here in four days, and I want him alive. You're asking a lot. I'm paying a lot. Well, why four days? That's my business. You want the job? All right, just give me time to think about it. 
Listen, Paladin, you're the one man who can bring Law Marine, and I want him back to stand trial here. Who'd he kill? I don't think that makes any difference to you. Well, right now, it makes a difference in whether or not I go after him. Uh, all right. Little Spring has a reform group headed by a man named Radford. Lormer killed Radford's son in this saloon Wednesday night. Then he stole the fastest horse in town and headed east. Everybody was either too drunk or too stupid to stop him. But they were all witnesses. I see. Well, I'll let you know in a couple hours if I take the job. <laughs> You're a skeptical man, Paladin. You can be sure of that, Sheriff. I talked to a dozen witnesses, and the stories were all the same. Radford's 20-year-old son had come into the saloon, and in a loud voice had branded gambling as evil and sinful. Lormer had been at one of the tables, and he shouted at the young man to leave. Radford refused. Lormer walked over to him. There was a slight scuffle, and then Lormer put a bullet through him. Young Radford was unarmed. Satisfied that Sheriff Akers had told me the truth, I accepted the job. In the morning, I bought a ticket for the next stage going east. Ought to be here in another ten minutes. Just make yourself to home on that bench over there. Ah, wait outside. Well, have a good trip. Thank you. Uh, you, Mr. Paladin? That's right. I'm Jim Radford. Mr. Radford? Akers brought you down here to find Lormer, didn't he? Yes. You going to do it? I'm going to try. You'd be doing this town a great injustice. Don't bring him back, Mr. Paladin. Well, Lormer did kill your son, didn't he? Yes. But if you catch him, it won't bring my son back. I've already accepted the job, Mr. Radford. Mr. Paladin, I head a reform group in Little Spring... We've been fighting Acres for years. Now, there's going to be an election in five days. I'm running against Acres for sheriff. If you bring Lormer back and he hangs for the murder of my son before election day, Acres can point to the hanging and the people of this town will forget what went on before. And Acres will be re-elected. Yes. You can see what kind of town he's running. But for the first time, the people have a chance to drive him and his crowd out of control and turn Little Spring into a decent community. Well, that may be true, Mr. Radford, but I'm convinced that Lormer is a murderer and I intend to bring him back in four days alive. If you do, if you do, I'll kill him before Akers can get near him. Now, Mr. Radford, that would be a foolish thing to do. Then you could be hanged for murder. Nevertheless, the people would understand and we'd have a clean town again. I'll be waiting for you when you come back. I'll remember that, Mr. Radford. Are you smoking more now, but enjoying it less? Have a real cigarette, have a camel. The best tobacco makes the very best smoke. Have a real cigarette, have a camel. Are you looking for flavor and mildness? Have a real cigarette, have a camel. The best tobacco makes the very best smoke. Have a real cigarette, a real cigarette, a real cigarette, have a camel. Again, for the 11th straight year, Camel outsold every other cigarette, filter, king size, and regular. The best tobacco makes the best smoke. So if you're smoking more now but enjoying it less, change to Camels. Get more real satisfaction every time. Start to really enjoy smoking again. Have a real cigarette, a real cigarette, a real cigarette, have a Camel. I followed Lormer's trail to the Nevada line, and there I rented a horse. The open desert stretched before me, and I knew now that it would be more difficult to find him. The sun was at my back, and my shadow started to creep ahead of me when I saw a small house on the thin line where fertile land gave way to wasteland. There were two horses grazing on the tufts of grass between the rocks behind the house. There was a large, inviting well in front. I rode up to the watering trough. Ah. Any rain? 
Huh? Get away from here. What? Hey, uh, put your rifle away, old man. Get off my land, you hear? Say, uh, are both those horses yours? I didn't move out here on the edge of this inferno to have a snooper come along and ask me questions. I told you to get off my land. Well, I'm looking for a murderer. I ain't seen no murderer. He passed this way. I ain't seen no murderer. Uh-huh. Well, I'm, I'm going to search the desert, old man. I need water. You have a well. All right, take your water. But my rifle will be on you till you leave. I watered my horse and continued east into the desert for almost ten miles. And then I saw him, silhouetted by the setting sun, a big man stumbling, weaving, before his weight carried him to the ground. I dug my heels into my horse and rode to where he had fallen. Uh, ooh, ooh. You make a big trail, Lormer. I'll put a bullet in you. running is over. I'll Let me go back. Give me that gun. You. I'll take that gun. You hear me? Get your hands off. Uh, you won't be needing it now. I, I need water. My throat's on fire. All right. Here. Let me die here. A nice, clean death. My job is to bring you back, Lormer. Sheriff Akers sent you, didn't he? Sheriff Akers will hang me when you bring me back to Little Spring. You'll stand trial. Yeah, I'll stand trial. And in less than 20 minutes, they'll have me swinging from the courthouse tree. And the whole town will get drunk and celebrate. And they'll re-elect Sheriff Akers because he brought law and order to Little Spring. Why did you kill young Radford? He was a loudmouth preaching kid, always shooting his mouth off in the saloon. It was bad for business. Akers had a big take from that saloon. He wanted him dead. He told me to kill him, and then he turned on me. But I fooled him. He won't use me anymore. Kill me here and get it over with. Come on. <laughs> I want to make that well before the sun burns the skin off our backs. What well are you talking about? At that house about ten miles back. We both gonna ride one horse. What happened to yours? I shied at a rattler. He threw me. Now you're a big man, Lormer. My horse would never carry the both of us in the heat. Now you ride and I'll lead him. It's a hot walk. I'll manage until we get to that house. Dandruff bothers most men, most women too, so listen. Today, you can get rid of embarrassing dandruff in just three minutes. Yes, with Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo, unsightly dandruff's gone in three minutes. It's the quickest, easiest of all leading shampoos. That's not all. Using Fitch regularly is guaranteed to keep embarrassing dandruff away. Simply apply in the unique Fitch manner. Before you wet hair, rub in one minute. This way, Fit Shampoo penetrates right down to the scalp. Next, add water. Lather one minute to wash every trace of dandruff out of your hair. Then rinse one minute. All that loosened dandruff goes down the drain. In three minutes, with Fitch, one rubbing, one lathering, one rinsing, dandruff's gone. And never forget, gentle Fitch can also leave your hair up to 35% brighter. To get rid of dandruff problems forever, brighten hair too. Use Fitch regularly. Get Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo today, only 59 cents. Let me sit down, Patton. You want to go in the house, go ahead. Hey, Lorman, when I was here before, there were two horses out back. Now there are three. You changed horses here, and when the horse threw you in the desert, he came home. Is that right? Leave me out here. I ain't got the strength to run away. All right. I want to see that old man anyway. We need your horse back. Okay. Old man, I want to talk to you. Lormer. Oh, no, you... Hey, Lormer, you... 
Uh, oh, you fool. Why did you do that? I, I was thirsty. The well was so close, I, I drank too fast. You idiot. I've got to get you out of the sun now. Come on, try to stand up. Oh, you. Come on now. All right, easy does it. Easy. I'll get you into the house now. All right, come on. Oh, easy. All right, come on now, here. You can lie down here. There. Now, just rest easy now. You got a short memory. One warning wasn't enough, was it? You come back. Take your rifle out of my back, old man. You ain't felt the last of this rifle. I've got a sick man here. Is this your murderer? Yes. The horse came back this morning. I was expecting you, Fred Lermer. I didn't want to come back, Uncle. He forced me. Your uncle? Well, you denied you'd seen him before. I told you I hadn't seen the murderer. I didn't know Fred was a murderer. Let me go, Uncle. I'll get as far away from here as I can. Old man, I've got to bring Lormer back for trial in Little Spring. He killed a man there. Fred ain't going nowhere. He's not going to hang in some public place. I'm going to kill him and bury him out back of the house. And I'm going to kill you because you know him, you know his crime, and you know he's my nephew. What makes you judge and jury? <laughs> I watched a lot of killing during the war. I watched brother kill brother. What made them judge and jury? You're, you're confusing peace with war, old man. Are the men in Little Spring fit to sit in judgment on alarmer? No. Only alarmer can judge alarmer. I renounce civilization, and with it, its laws. Here, I'm the law. Now you turn around, mister. Now, loosen your gun belt and drop it to the floor. Easy now, no tricks. Now, you get up, Fred Larmer. I can't, Uncle. My stomach... You will get up and walk. I'll not kill you inside my house. Now, get up. Now, 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 walk. Both of you. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Here, here, here. Oh, you give me the gun, old man. No! <laughs> All right, old man. Shooting's over. Give me back my rifle. Can't you see I only winged him? He ain't dead. That's a good thing. I've got to kill him. There's not going to be any killing here. No. Take him back, Miss Sheriff, and let him hang. You are civilization, mister, and I hate you for it. Oh, this miserable cold. And my sinuses. Haven't you heard about Dristan? Dristan, the amazing three-layer tablet now bringing real relief from cold's misery and sinus congestion to millions. Dristan decongestant tablets not only help drain all eight sinus cavities, critical areas of cold's infection, but circulating through the blood, Dristan's decongestant reaches all congested areas, shrinks all swollen membranes, relieves pressure and pain. An exclusive anti-allergent helps keep breathing passages dry and clear. Pain relievers reduce body aches, fever, and vitamin C helps build body resistance. This is Dristan. Today, Dristan is widely imitated, but the exclusive Dristan formula cannot be duplicated. There's nothing, nothing like Dristan. So for real relief from colds, misery, and sinus congestion, accept only Dristan decongestant tablets. <laughs> The fight was out of the old man. He sat in a corner of the front room while I bandaged Lormer's arm. He looked neither left nor right and said nothing. By his lack of movement, he seemed to deny our existence. As we moved away from the house, I saw him come out the door and stand on the front porch, a lonely figure. Lormer gave me no more trouble. I persuaded the stage driver to drop us off on the outskirts of Little Spring, and it was 10 o'clock at night when we got into town by way of a back street. Why are you bringing me here? This is Radford's house, isn't it? Yeah, but I still don't... Never mind, you'll see. (laughs) 
Mr. Paladin. Lorimer. Get inside. Now, I told you I'd kill him, Paladin. Don't try it, Radford. Why are you here? You have some rope? Yes. Well, get it for me so I can tie Lorimer up. Then I want you to go and get the sheriff. The sheriff? Radford, you had a reform group in this town. I hope you're interested enough in justice to do what I tell you. And bring the sheriff and bring him alone. All right. And, uh, Radford, tell him to have $3,000 with him. Paladin, what's the meaning of this? Why did you bring Lorma here to Radford's house? This is as good a place as any to pick up a murderer. All right, I've kept my part of the bargain, Sheriff. Lormer's back in Little Spring, alive and on time. Did you bring the money? Yeah. Yeah, here it is. Thank you. Now, we'll hold trial immediately. I'll call the judge. He'll open the court. All right, Lorma, let's go. Now, just a minute. Didn't I hear you invite the sheriff to stay for the night, Mr. Radford? What? Of course you did. But... Sheriff, make yourself at home. We'll be here for the night. And all day tomorrow. Well, it'll be an honor spending election day with the two leading candidates. Oh, look here, Of pal. course, you'll have time to go out and vote about five minutes before the polls close. You don't feel spending election day with a murderer like Lorimer will hurt you at the polls, do you, Sheriff Akers? Why? Pull down the shades, Mr. Radford, and lock the door. I hope supper's not spoiled, Jim. Sorry I'm late, but we're taking inventory. With the nagging backache I've had and sleepless nights it gives me, I'm all dragged out. You've been complaining of backache long enough. Don't you want to get relief? Of course. But how? Try Doan's pills. Right. Doan's pills are an analgesic and mild diuretic to the kidneys. Nagging backache, also headache, dizziness, and muscular aches and pains may come on with overexertion, emotional upsets, or everyday stress and strain. Doan's pain-relieving action is often the answer, and they also offer mild diuretic action through the kidneys. So if nagging backache is making you feel worn out, tired, and miserable, with restless, sleepless nights, don't wait. Try Doan's pills, used successfully by millions for over 60 years. See if they don't bring you the same welcome relief. Get Doan's pills today. To save money, by Doan's big economy size. Have Gun, Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Paris and stars John Daner as Paladin with Ben Wright as Hayboy and Virginia Gregg as Miss Wong. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun, Will Travel by Arthur Lewis. Featured in the cast were Jack Moyles, Vic Perrin, Ralph Moody, and Barney Phillips. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents Have Gun, Will Travel. Thank you.